Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chick, and yes, we're bringing out the flag because today happens to be Flag Day. It's one of those, well, it's actually one of those, it's not actually an officially a holiday, but it's one of those days that I think there's a lot of people that happen to forget about it. And this day, of course, is in honor of the U.S. flag, the stars and stripes. So did you put your flag out? Actually, it's honored in honor of all those people that died carrying the stars. Oh, is that what it is? See, I'm, okay. Look, if you don't know, don't feel bad. See, I didn't even know all of this stuff. So in honor of all the people that carried the flag, yes? Anyway, stars and stripes, put your flag out. Today's a perfect day. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, well, you're going to, uh, listening to the television reporters, Republicans, they said they... The, uh, the Benghazi thing is all finished, they got all the answers. The IRS thing, they got all the answers. The, uh, uh, everything that they think of, they've got all the, the surveillance, all the answers they've got, so there's no reason to continue any further investigation. Because it's just the Republicans are, are trying to cause a black man a problem. Oh, and this morning, one of Obama's people that he helped get in at the INS said that unless the United States adheres to Obama's plan, which is to tax and spend, they could destroy the whole world's economy. Good, amazing that they would get that from a person that supports Obama. Mm -hmm. Murdoch's empire change, it looks to be more due to a divorce other than his age. Oh yeah, because he's, uh, they're, they're splitting the company into pieces because it looks like they're trying to make certain that his a wife adheres totally to the prenuptial agreement. Uh, what I like is, you know, that, that his kids by her don't have any voting rights in his company, mm -hmm. which really is odd, but... Uh, uh, Do you think part of it is because they ended up getting met and got married so quickly? Uh, well, I have no idea. You still have kids still. I know. Generally, kids always get kids voting always. rights in the company, but to cut them totally out, that's where that's the litigation's got to come in, is that the kids, because um, he's basically going to... Uh, they think that she's going to get maybe one to two billion dollars in uh, stuff, but they said that it's not even going to dent his net worth with that kind of money. And then they said that um, if she caught, I think there's a, they said there is a, a poison pill that if she goes to court to challenge the prenuptial, she basically forfeits everything. Because I think his last wife, who, who he was married to for 30 years. Yep. Right? Um, didn't she get like one of the most expensive divorce settlements, oh, like one point nine billion or seven yeah, billion? Yeah, they think that, that this divorce is going to exceed that because Murdoch has more money now than he did then. Oh, an Obama NSA spy program mocked by comics. Oh yeah, they're all laughing about it. They, uh, uh, <laughs> he, he, he <laughs> like J, I think for Jay Leno. He said, um, he, he said, uh, oh. Mr. President, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going down the street to have a Starbucks. After I get to Starbucks, I'm going, oh, oh God, this is going to really piss you off. I'm going to have a Big Mac with a large order of fries and a shake. I know that, Mr. President, you won't approve of it. You'll probably have me assassinated before I get back. And other comics, you know, oh, oh, my God. they're all doing the same thing. Um, they're all, you know, they had one of the guys walking around in, in Maxwell Smart's cone of silence. So I said, I've been told that this will keep the President of the United States from snooping on what I'm doing. Oh yeah, so God. they're, I mean, it, they're just screwing him because oh. the comics find it a great thing that they find out. They have great comic fodder. Well, I love this it. one. He said, Mr. President, he said, I would think since you know everything, how in the hell didn't you know that the two guys that the Russians had told you were a danger were going didn't do what they were going to do. He said they seem to be the. He said the bad guys seem to be the only ones that you know nothing about, but you know exactly what my wife is having for dinner. Uh -huh. So I know. <laughs> and Obama defends surveillance effort as trade off for security. There is no trade off. Uh, my father was a police officer. My father was also, uh, you know, he, my father was an officer of a patent and stuff. My, uh, my, my father said Pat would tell him that there was no such thing as 100% security on what they were doing. All they could do was their best effort. Mm -hmm. And if what happens is, is that um, at the moment, our intelligence people are spending all their time gathering data and they're not spending any time uh, trying to convict anybody. I mean, uh, how, when's the last person you heard that actually 
the United States caught. If they don't, they either they kill you, but they don't catch you. Mm -hmm. An ex CIA man says exposed spy scheme to protect the world. Well, yeah, basically, uh, here's the problem. I love this guy. They think he's a member of the China. Okay, which is better, a patriotic American expo blowing the whistle on a system that should never have been and basically over exceeded his reach? Are a guy that's working for the Chinese government that worked his way up into a position that he can blow the whistle on our country's security programs the same day that Obama is going to talk to the Chinese government about their uh, watching our stuff? And Democrats are pissed off that once again it was not a gun crazy conservative that did another mass shooting. Oh, yeah, the guy was a Muslim born in the United States that did the Santa Monica stuff. And he was one, okay, they, here's a good one. They said, why was this man denied, why was this man allowed to buy all of his weapons and ammunition? Well, because you're not allowed. If, if you're crazy in the state of California or in the United States, you can walk into a gun shop and buy an AK-47, uh, a Mod Deuce. You'll probably buy a nuclear weapon as far as they're concerned because if you're insane, you're not allowed to ask them any questions. So you walk in and say, well, I have a certificate that says I'm insane. Now I want to buy 11,000 rounds of ammunition for a 50 caliber machine gun. Oh, okay, it's perfectly all right for you to have it because we can trust you. And few options for companies to defy U.S. intelligence demands. The options are they go to court and put an end to it because it's unconstitutional. They said, that, oh, here's the trick is, they said there is a difference between what is legal and what is unconstitutional. That it's up to the courts to declare it. When the court declares it's unconstitutional, it then becomes illegal. Until the times that the court declares it's unconstitutional, it's perfectly legal. Uh, you know, like that the thing, you know what, uh, that it, it's, it, they declared it's illegal to yell fire in a, in a theater, but it's not unconstitutional to yell fire in a theater. Isn't that a good one? Uh -huh. Freedom of speech. Well, it's free, freedom of speech. That's right. And why Holder will not be removed, Attorney General under pressure from White House to open more leak inquiries. Because Holder, okay, Obama cannot, okay, what happens is, is Obama is tightening up everybody around him now, which, which, the, which presidents do when they know they're in trouble. He cannot let Holder, if Holder goes, Holder is not going to fall on his sort like a Praetorian guard, but Holder is going to blow the whistle on him. Because Holder is, okay, That's why Obama can't go to jail while he's in office for things that he did. Whereas Holder can go to jail for things that he's doing that are criminal oh. misconduct. Yeah. And if you, go to, if you know you can go to jail, you are not going to, okay, here's the, it's the same thing as, as Lance Armstrong. There's no reason on earth why Lance Armstrong would say the things he did knowing what going, going, going to put him in a jail cell. There's something phony about all of it, which is why Holder basically is, He's going to stay there forever. As long as he's in the office, they're not going to jail him. Mm -hmm. And Wayne Newton moving out of Las Vegas to stay. Well, because Newton, you know, he's 70. I didn't know he still moved over there, lived over well, there. Well, what he did, he moved from uh, one place in Las Vegas to a place that's actually larger. The ground around it is larger, so he could take everything with him. The thing was is that um, uh, Wayne Newton is no longer, they're, 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 they, um, as we know, most of the strip hotels are going to truncated version of Broadway shows are basically, you can see Mickey and Minnie Mouse produced by Circus Soleil. You can see, I dived off the top of the Empire State Building. My name is King Kong by Circus du Soleil because, uh, you know, they basically, they're, they're doing themed Circus du Soleil shows. And, Just and, ask Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Jenner takes on Jimmy Fallon over plastic surgery jokes. Oh, I know, because it was they didn't think it was funny, and Fallon since has apologized, so. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. Bruce Jenner visited Tuesday's late night and had a little fun at Jimmy Fallon's expense. Yeah, well, I think he brought his plastic surgery. Okay, everybody knows. Bruce Jenner, when he was uh, the Olympian, and when he was on chips, was a muscular, good-looking guy, and then for some reason he decided to get a nose job done. I don't know why they do that because that almost always destroys people's careers totally. <laughs> there is no such good, I mean, I said that last night. You know, the guy said, Well, I'm having a deviated septum worked on. He said, No, you're having a nose job. No, it's a deviated septum. So they, they said to the doctor, Okay, doc, what do they call this? They call it a nose job. Mm. 
and Obama's hardball tactics could backfire. Oh yeah, because uh, uh, listen, I, mean, I listened yesterday. One Democrat after another is telling his people, well, "I was in charge of this committee when we were in control, and you're lying to us. I know you're lying because uh, I mean this is uh, so." He's basically, he's, they said, uh, I'm, I'm listening last night, well, it's just that this president is not engaged. It's not that he's doing anything wrong. He's just disengaged. No, he's a Chicago politician, and this is how they do things in Chicago, folks. Bill, okay, B.S. DeVoe said, Mr. Bill O'Reilly, who won't tell people exactly what parts of the Bill of Rights he's willing to suspend, basically still worships the ground the president works on. Mm -hmm. And Cheerio stands by TV ad showing mixed race family. Uh, I've got to tell people they're a mixed race family. Uh, I, I, my family is American Indian, German, and, ja and Japanese. That's about mixed race, folks. Mm -hmm. And Turkish Prime Minister cheered and show of strength as protests go on. Uh, he, uh, they're basically starting the. The country is starting to get the idea that the guy is a dictator, as he basically as the deaths are mounting up and the injuries are mounting up. And uh, he said, well, I was, I was duly elected. The problem is, he's a, he basically controlled the polling booths. He controls the media. So one of the guys said, we'll actually never know whether he was legally elected or not, because he just said he was. <laughs> and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay. Stonewalling only works when the people that surround you support you, not when they're telling everybody about what you're doing. <laughs>